square is a type of rectangle, a very special rectangle. What that means for us, if a square is a type of rectangle, if a square is a type of rectangle, we should be able to find the area exactly the same way. The way we found the area of a rectangle, let me erase this junk here. The area was, if you remember this, like the base times the height. Well, that's up to you. You don't have to write anything down. I would encourage you to, but I don't really care. So the area for a rectangle was base times height. Do you remember that from last time we did area? Well, that means the area of a square is going to be the same thing. We could say base times height, but watch. Watch on the board here. When a square is, well, if a rectangle is a square like this, we all know something about the sides. They're all the same. So the sides of this rectangle are S and S, side and side. They're the same length. So when we do the area, sure, the area is S times S. Do you see where we're getting S times S? That's still the base. The same as base and height. Right. The bases and the height are the same. So this would still be base times height. It's just we have the same value there. Is there a different way we can write S times S? S squared. S squared. Perfect. That's where we actually get the word square from. S squared. So when we're looking for the area of a square, why it's called a square, we just take the side itself and square it. Brings me to my next question. If I tell you something's a square, how many sides do I need to give you for you to find the perimeter and the area? One. Two. Do you need two sides of the square? Two. It's a square, say it's eight inches. Okay, I'm going to say this is a square. You got me? And one side is eight inches. How much is this side? Eight inches. This side? Eight This side? Eight So how many sides do you need if I tell you it's a square? One. Just one. Let's find the perimeter and the area here. We'll do it. We'll do, I want you to do the perimeter on your own. Actually, do them both on your own. See if you can figure that out. Find the area and the perimeter. It's a square. Square. Okay, let's get this done. Uh, perimeter. Perimeter means what's perimeter mean to you? Okay, so we're supposed to add it because it's the distance around that figure. So if it's the distance around that figure. How much is the distance around this figure? Four. Four. Two. Eight times four. Now. If I'm talking about perimeter, please pay attention up here for a second. If I'm talking about perimeter, should I say 32 inches or 32 square inches for perimeter? Square. Just inches. Square. For perimeter. Perimeter. Inches. That's what they ask you, right? That's what I'm asking is what, should I say square inches or no. inches if it's the Just perimeter? Inches. Oh, inches. Yeah, yeah. Because square inches will be everything, right? Inside. Square, yeah, that would be the surface, right? We're just talking about the d perimeter means the distance around it. So we'd just be like, if you walked around this classroom, you would get something in feet, right? Yeah. You wouldn't get square feet if you walked around this classroom. If you counted all the little That's squares square in this, okay. hey, notice squares, right? You're going to get square feet if you count all the surface of this room. That's the area part of this. So when we're talking about area, I know that one side is eight inches, so. How much is the area? Eight. Well, how'd you get 64? Well, when we take, remember it's base times height, but they're the same number, so we can actually just square it to find the area. So you times it? Yeah, by itself. On the area of a rectangle, we did base times height. Area of a square, we're doing the same thing. We're doing base times height. It's just you so happen to have the same base and the same height. So we're multiplying that number times itself twice, or in other words, we're squaring. So we're going to get up 64, and in this case, y'all should have down there square inches, or whatever units you used.
by a show of hands, how many people feel okay with this perimeter and area idea? Okay, if you're still a little rusty on this, come and see me or go to the math lab um, after this class. I'll be there for an hour and I can clarify that for you. At this point, we're done with section 1.7. That means your homework that I gave you last time is going to be due when? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's right. So if you got a jump start on it already, good for you. If not, you have a lot of homework to do tonight. Um, for the rest of our time here, the next 20 minutes,